What's going on YouTube? This is Eric here guys with the TRD squad bringing you guys my upgraded deck of Cyber Dragon. So in this meta and with the new release of certain cards and also certain reprints here, we're going to be playing Cyber Dragon Branded or Cyber Dragon Albaz. I think this deck is super fun. It's a lot more consistent now with the Branded engine or Albaz engine, whatever it is you want to call it. Uh, makes it just a lot more fun, more competitive, more consistent as well. And honestly, the deck is like super budget, especially now like Ghost from the Haunting and all the reprints we're going to get for Cyber Dragon. A lot of these cards just became super cheaper, so we're going to throw them some spice as well. But we're going to start this uh, this uh, video a little bit differently, so I'm going to showcase to you guys a point first test 10 video, even though we are planning to go in second, but just in case, you know, your point makes you go first, I want to, I want to showcase to you guys just one combo here. That requires two cards that can set up four solid interruptions. And then we're going to do a going second test 10 video as well that can produce about 18,000 damage, LTK for your opponent. But first things first, guys, let's get into this going first test 10 combo video here, or part of the video. So... What you need is a Cyber Dragon Core and a Machine Dupe, and there are also a variety of other cards you can use to get into this combo as well. For example, like Cyber Emergency, also Galaxy Soldier that we're still playing. Um, but anyways, guys, so first things first, Normal Summon Core, activate to effect to add Cybernetic Overflow from deck to hand. We're going to go and set that card in our Spell and Travel Zone. I'm going to leave it face up just so we can see that it's there. And then we're going to go and activate Machine Dupe, targeting Core. We're going to special summon out two Cyber Dragons from our deck here. And then we're going to go overlay these two into our Cyber Dragon Nova. You want to go ahead and link up your Cyber Dragon Core here for your El Mirage. And at this point, you're going to make your, I'm sorry, what you want to do is go ahead and detach material from Cyber Dragon Nova so you can detach your material. Push some out one Cyber Dragon from your graveyard, just go ahead and special out the one that you detached. And now you can make your Cyber Dragon Infinity here. And then we're going to link off our Cyber Dragon, our Al Mirage, into Predator Plant, Verte, Anaconda. Now, unfortunately, we still got to play this card. It's just super good right now. Until it gets banned, keep playing it. Um, and spoiler alert, we're not playing Dragoon here because, honestly, that can't afford the card. And I know a lot of people get annoyed, so I don't really don't. If I could afford it, I would actually play it. But anyways, we're going to activate Verte Effect, guys. Pay 2,000 life points. We're going to send Brand Diffusion to the graveyard and then use its effect. So we're going to send our Albaz, and then we're also going to use our Verte, our extra monster zone as a fusion material, to make our Mirror Jade Ice Blade Dragon. And so that is a four soul interruption, you guys, I'm going to explain why. Cyber Dragon Infinity is going to be the one I'll mitigate. Mirror Jade, the Ice Blade Dragon, can uh, banish one card your opponent controls, non-target as well. Plus it also lets you send an extra mo uh, monster from the extra deck to the graveyard to activate its effect, guys. So you can always send your Albion, Branded Dragon. And then during the end phase, Albion and Branded Dragon will allow you to add another Branded Fusion from your deck to your hand. So that's a pretty cool effect there during the end phase. And then also you got your Cybernetic Overflow, guys. Since we do too, have two Cyber Dragon monsters with different levels in our graveyard, that will allow us to banish our Cyber Dragon Core, Cyber Dragon from our graveyard, allowing us to pop two cards our opponent controls. This could be spell traps or monsters. All right, so four solid interruptions with just two cards only. Keep in mind we still got three cards in hand, guys. That could be Imperm, Callus. Any hand trap that you use. So, you know, just show, want to showcase you guys this test hand right here first. Just showcase you guys that. Cyber Dragon can still go first. And it makes it a lot better board now with the branded fusion. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get these cards set up all over again. And we're going to do our going second test hand video. So we'll be right back in a second. All right, guys. Now for our going second combo video. This is still a two card combo. However, it looks like a two and a half card combo video. Because you do need one spell and trap to discard to the graveyard. But we're going to start off with the almost the same hand here. But we're going to have a Cyber Dragon Core Branded Fusion. And then any Spellers Trap to discard to the graveyard. So, first things first, activate your Branded Fusion. We'll be sending our Al our Hearse Albest to the graveyard to special summon out our Albion. Now we're going to have two effects here go off. What you want to do is you want to do Chain Link 1 Albion, Chain Link 2 Hearse. The Hearse is going to add you a Cyber Dragon from deck to hand. Albion's effect will now resolve, guys. What you can do is you can go ahead and banish the Cyber Dragon you add in. And the Hurts from Graveyard to make your first Chimera Take Rampage. Now Chimera Take Rampage on Summon Guys will allow you to pop two spells and traps. And you can activate a secondary effect after resolution to send two light monsters to the graveyard. So against an additional two attacks. Now at this point we're going to go ahead and normal summon our Cyber Dragon Core. Activate its effect guys to add Cyber Dark Realm from deck to hand. We're going to go ahead and activate Cyber Dark Realm. Allowing us to add Cyber Dark Chimera from our deck to our hand. And upon resolution of that, we can go ahead and normal summon the Cyber Dark Chimera. 
Activate Cyber Dark Commander's effect. Guys, you're going to go ahead and pitch Machine Duke to the graveyard or any spell and trap that you have in your hand. We have one Power Bond here. We're going to go ahead and activate Power Bond here. And since we, since we did activate Cyber Dark Commander's effect, guys, we can also banish cards from our field or graveyard or hand as well. And so we're going to go ahead and banish our core and banish uh, any other cards you want in your graveyard, guys. We can go ahead and banish hers as well. And that's going to go ahead and make us our second. Primary take rampage. This card upon summon as well will allow you to pop two more spells and traps. Now we can activate the secondary effect, guys, to send two more cards to the graveyard from our deck. We can send our Galaxy Soldier or Cyber Dragon, just any two light monsters that you have, so that way against an additional two attack. And this actually should be game here, guys. So what we have is an Albion Bradley Dragon with 2500 attack. Primary take rampage with 2100 attack, but it can attack three times. Camera take Rampage Dragon guys with 4200 attack that can also attack three times. And that should be Shake Hands, GG's, Game 2. I love this combo here, guys. So we're still playing the Cyber Dark package, as you can see, guys, because it doesn't conflict with anything at all. It does not lock us into fusion monsters when you play the small package. And it easily gives you about 18,000 or more uh you know attack damage. So you can easily just OTK your opponent. But anyways, guys. Hope you guys love this combo video. I'm going to get into this deck profile. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle up these cards or get these cards ready, organized. I'm going to give you guys the deck profile that I'm currently playing right now. So I'll be right back in a second. All right, guys. So here is the deck profile that we're currently running. So let's get into the main deck here, start things off. I'm going to adjust this camera as well. All right. So start things off, guys. We're playing two cyber, I mean, sorry, three cyber dragons. This card is a must at three. And I recently picked up my um uh, my secret racer with the uh I guess the dark darker alternate artwork. I honestly like them to look really clean. And of course I picked up a speed build secret red. I just I just but yeah. So three of your OG Cyber Dragon. I'm gonna play three core as well. Probably one of the best normal summons in the deck. Or the best normal summon in the deck. I'm gonna play two hearse as well, the one cyber dragon Naxter. Still playing three Galaxy Soldier. Now, if you haven't heard this card, it's going to get a reprint and goes from the past second haunting. So, yeah, this deck just got a whole lot more cheap. Like, honestly, this deck is like super cheap. And honestly, it's like super competitive. I strongly recommend you pick it up. Uh, for the most part, I made this deck by buying three of these Cyber Strike structure decks and three of the Albas um, structure decks. But I recently just started, like, you know, upgrading some of my cards, buying super rares and secret rares and stuff like that. And honestly, the deck is still very, very cheap. Um, strongly recommend for budget players and for um, new players, casual players, anything like that sort. Very fun deck to play with. Uh, but to continue, guys, our small uh, Cyber Dark engine here. So we're just playing three Claws and then the one Cyber Dark Chimera. And then, of course, two Fallen of Albaths. So I'm playing two Albaths because, like, if, if you go through one with Branded Fusion or with Verte, and then you draw another Branded Fusion, if you don't have another Albaths in deck, Branded Fusion becomes like a break or a deck card. So you kind of got to play two. And I think three is just too breaky, so two is just fine. Yeah, I honestly like two. It's the, I think it's the best way to do it. Uh, for our spells and traps, guys, we're going to play two, uh, I'm sorry, three Cyber Emergency. Playing the one Cyber Dark Realm. And then for our fusions, the one Cyber Load Fusion, the one Power Bond, and the one Overload Fusion. Now, little by little, I'm kind of finding that I really don't play this card too much, but I kind of just keep it in there because of Verte. But it is one card that I might be looking to drop later, but I'm just going to keep testing that online, see how it does. We're also playing the, of course, the three branded fusion, uh, three machine dupe as well, the one cyber repair plant, and the one cybernetic overflow. Now, for hand traps, guys, and things of that sort, I have about seven spaces open. And if you want to play more hand traps, I'll strongly recommend like dropping cyber repair plant and maybe one galaxy soldier so we can. Play a total of like nine hand traps or things or anything like any cards cards you might use to break your opponent's board. But once again, just to keep it budget, guys, we're gonna play three chalice, the one feather duster, and of course the three imperm that you can find in your cyber strike structure deck. But yeah, I mean any hand traps, guys, will work. Ghost ogre, ash blossom, whatever you is you want to play. Yeah, but a variety of options to play. Uh, for the extra deck, we're gonna play two camera. I mean, sorry, three camera take rampage. And the reason we're playing three is because if you guys saw my uh, combo video, we go through two in one of our combos. So you kind of need that third one now for the grind game. I'm also playing the one camera take fortress dragon and the one camera take mega fleet dragon. These cards are also getting reprints, so they're gonna be like super cheap now. So because of that, I threw in some spice into the deck as well. 
Uh, for other fusion guys, one Albion, of course, the one New Balin, and then the one Mirror Jade. These cards are just really, really, really good. Uh, for XYZ cards, the one Nova, the one Infinity, and then the one Zeus. So Zeus is a little bit spicy I throw in there because the deck is like really budget now. Like, well, why not throw Zeus in there? Zeus is just another format, another card you can make. You know, just throw off your opponent for wipe. Uh, and then for the link cards, of course, the one Seeger, one Verte, which is kind of a must, one Almirage, and then the one Anima, because it's just a really good card going second. But anyway, guys, this is it for my deck profile. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you don't have these uh, two structure decks that I've combined to make this deck, I strongly recommend you get them. They're super good structure decks. I think they're going to hold a lot of value in the future. But also, they're two decks that you can easily combine to make a really powerful uh, deck that's really fun to play with. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, please make sure you hit that like button down below. And if you haven't, guys, once again, subscribe to my channel. It's just a super easy way for you guys to support this uh, channel and to support me as a creator as well. And also comment down below, guys, if you're playing Brandis Cyber Dragon, I want to know. Let me know how you play the deck. Let me know if there's any other combo videos that I can use or any combo test hands that I can use to make my deck a little bit better or to play a little bit better. But anyways, overall, thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.